Morning. Right now, we're going to do something very cool at Bloomberg Surveillance. We're going to do a single best chart and show an equity, but then we're going to talk to an economist and can't talk about co uh, companies. I mean, that'll work out, right? GE, I showed this chart yesterday. Here's ML. Here's Fortress Welch right here. Straight up we go with Jack Welch in the 90s. We roll over. Here's the ugliness that everybody's tarring, feathering Jeff ML on. But here's the boom off of 2009. And Karsten, so much of this was GE wanting to be more Germanic, wanting to be, let's be more like Siemens. Let's be more pure play. What is it about German manufacturing process that makes other nations and other companies go, we want to be like that? It's extremely efficient. I think that's what the Germans... What's that? What's that mean? One is efficient. It's, it's cost efficient, re reducing costs, uh, having uh, <clears throat> investing in education, investing in engineers, um, in, in research and development. And I think this is what, what, what makes German manufacturing uh, highly efficient. But watch out. The German manufacturing is not as good anymore as it used to be in, in the early 2000s. Because the Germans are now trying to catch up when it comes to digital processes, um, developing new kind of products, new digital services. Right. And this is where they are lagging behind. We saw Mr. M out and led by uh, John Rice, his uh, head of international, and Mr. Flannery now taking over. We saw them want to be more international. The German multinationals, do they want to be more international or is it about getting Germany and Europe right? No, they want to be international, and that's what they did actually in the mid 2000s. They, they did outsourcing. They discovered new markets. So they 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 were the, mm -hmm. one of the first going into China. So obviously they want to be international. And only right now, with more geopolitical okay. tensions, they are rethinking on Europe. Very quickly, from where you sit, does Germany have a big advantage because they're going to talk to China and and others that Mr. Trump doesn't want to talk to? They, they do have an advantage because Chancellor Merkel is currently regarded as the uh, the last leader of the uh, the free world.